I recently found out that many libraries across the country are offering a service they call a make room. A room where local patrons can come in with their ideas, they can design them, develop them, and build them. One of our local libraries, the Emmett O'Neill Library in Mountain Brook, Alabama, is offering that service. So the other day, I went in and met with my very dear friend, Mary Lynn. She's one of the administrators there, and with her technical support, I built my very first 3D printed project. Uh, this is my Franklin's motor. Now I want to note that when you use those library services, the only thing you're going to pay for is the actual plastic that you use to build this project. Uh, I walked away from their library. This this bill cost me a dollar and forty cents. Uh, I use fourteen grams of plastic. It's ten cents a gram. So <laughs> I was thrilled with that. I will be using that service more. And uh, you notice I, I'm just kind of moving this thing around. That rotor in there is so light that it is just suspended uh, terrifically between between those magnets and. Uh, I can run this motor at any angle uh, that I want to. It, it will run at any angle that that rotor is that light. So I'm going to turn on this induction type uh, high voltage generator um, and let's, uh, let's watch this little rotor run. I have just had a great time with this. Now I want to mention that it is raining today. Our humidity is very high. Um, Yesterday, when the humidity was down around 30%, that thing was just screaming. Uh, but I am thrilled uh, to find out that uh, I have services here local to me. I don't have to make a big capital investment. I can use their equipment. Uh, for a dollar and 40 cents, I walk away with something that uh, I shall cherish a long time. Uh, I'm going to show you a little slideshow of uh, the steps I went through to build this. and. Uh, and I, I hope you enjoy. Thank you.